Today we're going to check out this knife here. Obviously the Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie. Let's get into this. Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, please, please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. Okay, so here we go. This is the Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie. It's new for this year. Check that out. Look there, that feels pretty awesome. Okay, so what we have is we have nine and a half inches of that 52100 high carbon steel, all just one piece of humongous, thick, tough, strong metal here. Good steel. Came super sharp, belly shaving sharp, just really. Really nice as far as the, the edge of this thing goes. The blade edge is really awesome. You can shave with this thing. It's so sharp. Okay, <clears throat> back here on the grip, you have the faux stag handles. Check that out. So it's not real stag, but it's close enough. And let's see, what's, what is the grip on here? One, two, three, four, about four and a half inches. One, two, three, four, four and a half inches on that grip. So, pretty nice as far as the way it looks and as far as the way it feels. Now, the problem gets to be when you start using this thing. Now, I hate saying bad things about cold steel. I love the cold steel stuff. But on this one, man, I'm just not feeling it. It's like it's something wrong with this handle. It's Now, if you're going to be stabbing with this thing, I'm pretty sure you'll be fine with it. But chopping with this thing is a hassle. For, for I guess it's because of the angle of this, or maybe you need a longer handle or something, but I can't get to where chopping feels comfortable on this blade. So if you're gonna use, well, here's some stuff I did with it. Let's check this out and I'll come back to it. All right, this is the Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie. And there is zero chance that I don't go nuts on this brisket with, the, <laughs> with this thing. So let's just, Let's just do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at the devastation. <laughs> okay, so right here, I paused it because my wrist was hurting me after these two cuts. It was just, it wasn't like painful, horrible pain, but it was just enough to jar it so that you could feel it in your wrist. Oh man, this thing. Oh, freak. Now, this is watch. Now, all kidding aside, let's see what this thing would do. Like, if you had this on your belt and you had to make some rhino steaks. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, this thing is so awesome. Check that out. Oh, oh. All right, let's just, let's just see how it stabs. Just, oh. Man, that's amazing. Stabbing wasn't a problem. I mean, you can see it went straight to the meat. The thing is definitely a stab-worthy type of blade. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Oh, oh, man, look at that. Oh, this thing is something else. Oh, man. Just chunks and stabbing. Oh. Now it was fun chopping into the meat, but it was still awkward and a little bit painful. That's why I'm doing it left handed a bunch. That thing is awesome. Let me try this way. Now my hand's all greased up. So let's see if it wants to slip out. Oh. That thing is awesome. Oh, let's stab this way, shall we? Oh. <laughs> I don't know why you need sound effects. All right, let's just finish up slicing this bad boy up now. All right, you know what's about to happen, right? <laughs> let's hope we can do this. <laughs> so much for that. That hurt a lot. That hurt my wrist so bad. 
So you can see where it slices awesome. So if you're slicing stuff, you take this out in the field and you're slicing up things or you're cutting up. And even if like a, I guess with like a fire sticking kind of thing, it would work really well. It's super sharp and you got a lot of leverage here, but the chopping will mess up your wrist. Man, it hurt my wrist just chopping into that boot just a couple times I took a swing at it. And even when I was chopping into the brisket, it went in nicely and it was effective, but just the way, I think, maybe because the way you're wanting to grab here, and I'm not sure, somebody's gonna know why, but it just, it's not comfortable for any kind of like hatchet or hacking and chopping like this. Now, there's a stabber, you know, I saw Lynn Thompson talking about stabbing this. If you're using it for a hunter, certainly. And, of course, anything this big is going to be amazing for self-defense, just as a deterrent when they, when you see it. The sheath now, the secure sheath that comes with, it locks it in nicely. Of course, it's not going anywhere. You can check that out. So it's locked in nicely on the sheath. If you're using this for regular Bowie stuff, as far as, Maybe stabbing a, a pig or doing things with that, like self-defense stuff, I'm sure. You know, you'd have to sharpen this up here. Isn't that, aren't the old school bowies, aren't they sharpened up here? So that when you come back on that, that flick back, you get a little cut on the upsweep there. I think so. Now here's what you're going to naturally compare this to. If you had to get just one of these, I'm telling you. I hate to be that guy, but get this one. The Drop Forward Survivalist is awesome. Now you're losing about what? What is that, about an inch and a quarter on that blade length. But everything else on this knife is just perfect. The balance is perfect. The grip is perfect. This thing is awesome. I beat the mess out of this thing. And this one feels a lot better than this one. This one feels thinner or something. It just I think it's a little bit thinner maybe, a little bit shorter. That curve on there is not doing it any favors as far as using it for the chopping stuff. So I'm crazy about the Drop Force Survivalist. This is an awesome, awesome knife. This one, I'm not so crazy about. If you're just trying to collect all the cold steels, which obviously I'm on that collection track, you're gonna want one of these. And if you're gonna stab a pig with it, it's definitely got some good guards here. You're not going to get up on it and has a really, I think it would feel fine with a stabbing motion, but anything that's going this way, it just feels like it wants to jump out of your hand a lot. I don't know if it's because of the balance of that blade is too forward on it, but right there, you just feel it. See on this one, you just feel like everything's perfect. Like it's weird. It's like the chopping is coming into this finger here. Boom. So you kind of feel it more on the finger. But on here, it feels like it's trying to escape the back of your hand more than it's trying to trying to stay balanced in your hand. So, as a stabber, awesome. But if you're going to stab a pig, I mean, this thing will stab a pig. This thing will stab, the Drop Force Survivalist is awesome. This is, this is not my super favorite knife that Cold Steel's come out with. Not to say anything ugly about it. You're not going to break it. It's not going to, you know disappoint you as far as stabbing and you know using in a slicey motion kind of thing but as far as chopping or anything like if you figure you're going to hack through some brush with that thing you might be disappointed in how that feels do you have this knife am i wrong have you tried it out in my way off base here is it just because my hands are weird that the knife feels odd, odd in my hand it just doesn't feel super comfortable it just doesn't feel like something I would use. If I had to grab one of these to use it forever, this would definitely be it. This knife is so awesome. Also, it's got some grippier texture here than this. I wanted to really like this knife and it just didn't happen. So there you go. There goes my Cold Steel sponsorship right out the window. Not that they were sponsored, I'm just saying. But all right, so this is the Cold Steel Drop Forge Bowie. Let me know what you think if you have this knife. Are you interested in checking it out? Did I totally ruin it for you? I hope not. If you have smaller hands, it might might fit you, but I gave it to my wife and let her try, you know, hold on to it. And she said she felt the same way. Like it just wasn't enough handle or something. See right here, if you could get 
see right there it feels like it wants to chop but then you're on like three and a half fingers on the knife but from right here so if it had maybe a little bit more out here maybe i don't know i'm not sure what i'm looking for here let me know what you think what what's the problem i'm having with this knife i can't figure it out i think that's about it do a little bit of testing a little bit of cutting on this thing i'm not disappointed just not super excited i'll talk to you later Well, let's go ahead and uh, try the Tim Rotten Banana. Oh, <laughs> let's try it again. Oh, I tried to fill it with meat for you. <laughs> oh, this is some tough boots. Get you some Doc Martens out there, folks. Meat boots. Just for you guys, that's the Dimco Rotten Banana.